have one question question 19 of exercise 3.3 ncert exemplar and yes we are going ahead with chapter 3 of pair of linear equations in two variables uh, we will be starting over this question now question says that there are some students in two examination halls a and b to make the number of the students equal in each hall 10 students are sent from a to b so first case is 10 students are sent from a to b then if 20 students are sent from b to a the number of students in a becomes double the number of students in b so ultimately we getting two cases over here and we'll work accordingly please like share and subscribe if you like this video and give it a try for every question which i am going ahead over here let's you know where most of the students get stuck and this is something of the question which students feel uh, that there are two cases sent from a to b what happened to the hall uh, to the number of students in hall a hall b so this question is little tricky again once you are done once you are done creating your equations most of the students can easily solve or come up with the final answer so the main task of these word problems is to create equations now give it a try pause the video and once you are ready with the solution you can refer this video back if you are good to go you are done with your answer again you can go ahead with this question with me or else you can try yourself take your time and then you can refer this video and if you are I mean if the answer which you which you got is incorrect then you would be able to understand where you go wrong so we will be starting up with the solution of this question so we need to find the number of students in both the halls so let's start out with let the number of students initially in hall a be x and in hall b be y so let the number of students initially in hall a be x and in hall b be y now what case 1 says case 1 says if 10 students are sent from a to b now if they are sent from a to b now what will be the number of students in hall a so number of students in hall a because we are sent from a to b so 10 students if we send from a to b so what we actually do is we just write it down as y plus 10 because we have sent from one i mean that means from hall a to hall b so we have added 10 to number of students in hall b but we forget to subtract 10 from a why because we are taking students from a as well so we will be getting x minus 10 over here this is the mistake which which normally student does that's why i took this question now the number of students will be equal so we'll be getting the equation x minus 10 equals to y minus 10 once you we'll solve it so we're getting x minus y equals to 10 plus 10 which will be 20 so this is our first equation now let's move on to the second equation now case 2 says that if 20 students are sent from b to a now we here if 20 students are sent from b to a so the students did the same thing what they'll do uh, number of students in hall a and in hall b now what student does earlier it was x minus 10 y plus 10 this time they'll do x minus 20 y plus 20 that is one of the you know one of the mistake which most of the student does i am adding all that mistake because most of the students just do these kind of mistakes i am sure you would not be one of them and if you are then please understand why this not happen because we need to understand the question properly and then we need to solve it accordingly now we it says if 20 students are sent from b to a now we are sending it from b to a so we will be adding 20 to number of students in a so we will be getting x plus 20 and we are shifting from b to a so 20 students will be less in hall b now we have 
number of students in A becomes double the number of students. One of the mistakes which most of the students does is they'll simply write it down x plus 20 equals to y minus 20. But we need to understand that it says that students in A, that means x plus 20 is twice, that means double, twice of y minus 20. So most of the problem which students face is, first of all, they do not subtract 10 and add 10 together. So they just do one of the things. Second uh, issues with some of the students face is over here, they can straight away, you know, subtract 20 and add uh, 20. We did earlier in first case. Third thing is, without even reading the question again, we simply write it down x plus 20 equals to y minus 20, which again at the end will be a problem. So, that will be x plus 20 equals to twice of y minus 20. Now, solving this out, we will be getting x plus 20 equals to 2y minus 40. We will be taking it to this side. So, x, y, x, x minus 2y equals, we will taking minus 20 there, minus 60. This is your second equation. Now, we will be solving these two equations. So, we will get x minus y equals 20 and x minus 2y equals minus 60. We will be subtracting both of the equation. We will be cancelling x and x out. We are left with minus y plus 2y which is y and 60 plus 2 which is 80. So, y is 80. Now, putting the value of y in equation 1, we get x minus 80 equals 20 which means x equals to 80 plus 20 which is 100. So, y is 80 and x is 100 with us. That means number of students in, so therefore number of students in hall A, we took it as x, so that will be 100 and number of students in hall B will be 80. I hope you understand this question. If you have any doubts, please write on to that. Thank you so much.